Thank you for joining us. I'm Juan, the trader and founder of Prosperity Trade. In this quick video, we just want to do a recap on some of the stocks that we've done due diligence on and why you need to do due diligence. So let's look at the screen real quick. If you look at the screen, we have ticker symbol TIRX dropped 80% today. Ridiculous, 80%. Opened up IPO sometime in February, spiked up all the way to 105, dropped down to 55, and back up to 99 before it dropped all the way back down in one day in, in, in time. This is so, let's see, this is, uh, this is a one minute chart. So at 10 o'clock, it just started dropping, dropping and 10.47 in less than an hour because these big spaces um the stocks got halted in less than an hour in 48 minutes went from 92 all the way to low 40s then going all the way down to as low as 12 dollars today imagine being invested somewhere up here and you you know this is spiking and holding down because everybody's trying to sell and there's no buyers. So it's just dropping, dropping and spiking down. So why did it drop so much? So there's no clear answer except that this is a China stock. This is an IPO. And, and I'm going to show you the first problem is. So I only found one article and they kind of addressed it. And uh, they talk about. Uh, really nobody knows why it dropped. There's speculation, there's news, China relations. Uh, so, but let's look at the chart real quick. First of all, the share, the float, the only amount, meaning the amount of shares they have circulating is only 2 million. That is very, 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 very low float and can easily be manipulated. So that means if, let's say 2.5, Four million people bought one share that's all the shares that they have to offer so when the stock gets hot like it did like this then you know those stocks uh, become uh, more expensive because of supply and demand and that's one thing you know it's kind of dangerous it's sometimes it's fine to day trade some of these low float stocks uh, but they get easily manipulated so insider owns somebody owns 43 percent so if somebody owns 43%, um, you know, that they are going to want to manipulate the stock. Maybe they dumped a lot of their shares and that's why it crashed. Um, so that's, that is just ridiculous. So I try to do a, some due diligence on this stock. And this is the thing. I, I can't find a whole lot of information uh, other than that uh, they're, so, they're, they're involved with insurance out in China um let me see here yeah so they're an insurance broker specializing in property and casualty insurance and life insurance product it received compensation from other insurance companies paying commission for its sales broker uh that that's okay i mean that's not like uh groundbreaking i mean it's how are they going to take over everybody else that does that, you know? So I took a quick look at, at their cash flow and it just, just seems off, seems weird. Uh, they have here operating cash flow, investing cash flow, negative 258 million, uh, zero financing cash flow, ending position 246 million, free cash flow 457 million. But look at right now, you know, from this to, to the uh, recent negative 736 million cash flow, negative 192 investing, negative $125 million cash flow. I mean, who would invest in this? I, I don't understand. Like, total revenue, 1.6 million, operating income, negative 520 million. So, this is. You do due diligence on this stock for just a couple of minutes and you already, there's no reason to invest in it. So, I mean, I couldn't get a whole lot of information on the, the stock.
So let's look at some of the stocks that we did due diligence on, where they're at. Uh, some of them are down now, which is expected, just the macro, what's going on in the market right now. Uh, and it's, it's because of the macro that I haven't gone over some of the other stocks I want to go over yet. But let's just take a quick look. So EXAS, we discussed this, or I discussed this on March 11th. It was at 128 when I discussed it. It's at 124, so it's down a few dollars. But, you know, you look at recent articles, April 12th, this is yesterday, and they talk about um, how a simple blood test can reduce cancer, and they mentioned EXAS, and they kind of went over everything that EXA does. It's just a, it's a pretty good article. Uh, it's on Barron's if you want to read it. And it just, it says positive things about EXS, EXAS, and it's just printed yesterday. Then here on the Guru Focus, this is uh, Phoenix Wealth Advisors. It's a big, big company that um, invest, and they talk about their new purchases and positions they added to. So they added to EXAS. It's, uh, it's in here. Oh, right here, EXAS. So they added to EXAS. So they added to their position. Positive. EXAS just purchased, uh, ARC just purchased some more EXAS uh, yesterday. They also purchased DDD, which is another stock that I mentioned that I was going to speak on a while ago, and I haven't spoken about it, spoke on it yet. Uh, I wanted to add printing stocks to my uh, portfolio, but that's another good sign. Uh, you know, when, when you talk about a stock and these, these firms... Uh, increase their positions in these stocks before the, you know, before I, I, I talked about it before these, these guys increase their position. So that's a great sign. That's that, you know, that means we did some homework and, you know, just wor don't worry about it and hold it unless something catastrophic happens. Uh, this is another article. It's uh, from medicine. It's from uh, Wisconsin State Journal. And they talk about Madison's based exact science broadened scope in cancer diagnosis, uh, diagnostics. This was 17 hours ago from today. And they go over, again, EXAS. They talk about uh, the company's goals and their outlooks and what they're doing so far and how they're going to play a game in the cancer. It's, it's a good article. You can check it out also. The next stock that we did due diligence on is Sensionics. This stock has been down. I mean, uh, so we talked about it March 16th, 281. It was at 281 when we talked about it, and it's at 216, so it's down 70 cents. But there's still there's still people that are bullish on it. Uh, there's still some positive catalysts coming uh, coming up. There's, um, you know, you can look here and you see that institutions own 16% of it. You know, it's, it's over 62 million shares owned by institutions. It's 68 million shares by private. General public, 206 million. So you got these ins big institution uh, and pu some public companies owning the stock. So that tells you there's there's something positive to look out for. This stock has potential, and it does. It has catalyst. It has potential of disrupting. So if you're down, you know, just just hold and you know, um, just kind of ride the the wave of of being in a in in a in a market that's just. Uh, not exactly, I wouldn't say unstable, but it doesn't, you know, there's, there's things going on with the printing money and, and people are concerned. So there's, there's things to be concerned about. Um, again, so, you know, just recent news, they, uh, they have shareholder ownership structure, structure, which is a positive thing. MP, MP has been great. Uh, I just did a follow up on it actually. And we got in on March 26, 3450. It's at 3515. And again, there's there's uh, Kramer just a couple days ago. He talked about this company is vital. He stated that it's a terrific situation. So positive uh, feedback of MP. And you can look at my uh, my follow up MP where I interviewed a political relations person. Uh, you know, I, I'm extremely bullish on this. PLTR is a little bit of an enigma. There's a lot of positivity. If, if this stock is just, there's positives and there's negatives. There's people that give it this crazy uh, uh, evaluation with potential of being a multi-trillion dollar company and breaking a couple hundred dollars. And then there's some people that just say it's it's over uh, uh, valued. So 
I'm bullish on it. I think it's got the potential. Uh, I think they got a little bit of ways to go. They need to do a few things. They need to be profitable. But I'm still bullish on the stock. Okay. And we have here this article from Google Focus, Acorn Financial Advisory, another big company, uh, another big uh, uh, financial um, firm that, that purchased stock. They purchased PLTR. They added to their position. They also added to EXAS. So that's, that's another positive thing. It, it's a stock that big companies, smart people, you know, smart money, they're putting their money behind it. And the final stock that we talked about was GOLD. And I kind of put this as a um, way to balance out our portfolio uh, and protect us from the market. If it drops too much, then this stock, you know, potentially it can kind of act as a, um, it can act as a kind of like a hedge of your portfolio. So, you know, this is April 5th, just a few days ago. This guy put an article out saying that he's very bullish and it's too low to evaluate. Uh, they got some positive news of po possibly opening up another site. So there's positivity. And we got in April 2nd, about $23. It's, uh, I'm sorry, April 7th at $20.60. And it's currently $20.99. And it just dropped a little bit. So, you know, it's, it's these are the stocks that we went over so far. And that's why it's extremely important to do your research to protect yourself uh, so, you know, you don't get an 80% drop. Now, you can get sudden drops like when some of these companies, Sensionics, when they do an offering where they sell some shares, people get scared and they close their positions. But um, you just have to look at it. If you truly believe in that stock, then it's just another potential um, entry for you, you know, to get in. And I have a couple of the stocks that I'm going to be talking over the next week, uh, over next week that dropped because an overreaction. People just uh, see some news and they all sell their position and they get out. So DDD is one of those stocks that I'm, I'm working on the due diligence. I think this week will be a good week for it. I've mentioned it uh, several weeks ago. And if you look at certain comments, I mentioned that I was going to be talking about this stock because I wanted to have printing in my portfolio. Another stock is IIVI, and this stock was trading at 100 and dropped all the way down to 62 for an overreaction. This company is a great company. It's trading currently at $80. This is a definite, if you, you, know, if you do anything, just get into this stock now. I'm eventually going to do my due diligence and give, uh, have a video for that out. But this is a good company to get into, $80. And it has a potential of 110. So that's that's a good amount of upside. So I, this is a stock that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to finish talking about DD, a couple of other printing uh, laser companies. And, you know, thank you for joining us. And we're glad that you're uh, investing with us. Please like, please subscribe. And if you like the content, hit the notification. Uh, place your request in the comment. And we'll be more than happy to do our due diligence on any stock that you uh, request. Thanks again. Have a great day. Thank you.